weird. My, <laughs> my mic wasn't on. That was strange. Maybe I'll just keep that as the intro. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll work. That'll do it. I mean, we're talking about homophobic puppets, after all, so let's just get into it. A few months ago, a, a little purple puppet kept popping up on my For You page, and uh, I, I, I never really was a fan. I never followed him. He, he did just, like, basic Star Wars stuff. Not even basic. There's there some deep lore in there, but his name was Star Wars Dinks. He seemed to be a little bit too much of a disnoid for me, and, like, I, I don't know. He, he talked a lot about Star Wars, and rarely did I see him criticize it. Not that everyone has to do that, but but there's a, a lot to criticize in the Star Wars movies. Media in general. Regardless of that, just a few days ago, some drama broke out, and I kept seeing people react and, and be shocked that this guy was a gay hater, this guy was a gay hater, and, and I was like, I, I wonder who they're talking about. I think the first video was somebody who said that they had information on a large Star Wars account, and I'm like... A large Star Wars account. Who could that be? And it turned out it was the puppet. And within about 24 hours, it, it was everywhere. It turned out the little purple puppet was a fag hater. And as a member of the LGBTQIA, I do not actually care for fag haters. I really don't like the idea of people being oppressed for their immutable qualities. I mean, I I don't really think people should be oppressed for any reason. That, that's off to Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oppression bad. Hating gays bad. In fact, hating people is bad according to the Bible. That that's a whole that's a whole other thing too. But I'm getting sidetracked again. Let's just whatever. Let's just I watched a few of the videos covering the puppet. My little antenna popped up. And, uh, something just didn't something didn't feel right. He was being called racist and homophobic over and over, but nobody in any of these videos was putting any proof. Now I'm a big proof guy. So I went digging. And the more I watched, the less and less I bought into him being a phobe of any kind. I did find his apology video, and you can actually find it if you just type in Star Wars Dink's apology. We'll be covering that in just a few seconds, but... Apparently, the video with all the proof of him being a homophobe and a racist was taken off of TikTok by Dink's fans. My search brought me to Instagram, which brought me to Twitter, which brought me to all the screenshots of the incident. Now, these screenshots included his real legal name, and I'm against the idea of doxing people, so we're going to be covering that up, but we'll, uh, we'll call him Al short. Now, here's a screenshot from his personal Facebook account promoting Star Wars Dinks at a community event. But now that we've proved it's him, let's, let's get into these, uh, let's get into this evidence. The first is him sharing the video, being woke is the same as being racist. It's a Ryan Long skit on YouTube. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. It's pretty funny. It makes some decent points about the horseshoe effect, how the more woke you become, the more racist you become. Next, we have a boomer tier office meme about Let's Go Brandon, a phrase that I'm convinced the entirety of the left doesn't understand. We got a couple of anti-vaccine mandate posts. So I'm not seeing any racism or homophobia. And we've got just some Christian propaganda here, nothing too crazy. A few right-wing posts. Again, nothing, nothing too crazy here. I, I personally don't really care for Bongino or uh, Candace Owens. I don't know who that top guy is, so, I mean, all three of these people, whatever. But again, I've seen, I've seen racism here. We do have a Glenn Beck post about Ron DeSantis bashing BLM, which is kind of close to racism, I guess, if you think that BLM just stands for all black people. And if you insult BLM, you're insulting all black people, which is weird because what, d d that's BLM, it, that's its own video. Ah, uh, let's see what's next here. We got... Uh, knew it was coming. Gay marriage only opened the doors to the... What? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Open the doors to the rest? What are you talking about? This post was in 2017, so what could this... This, this wasn't a... This wasn't a trans... Trans... Uh, what was the... What was the thing... What was the thing that just caught the... Our ear of the right? The, uh... Drag queen? Children drag queen? Whatever, yeah. This wasn't that. This was in 2017. This is Trump's first year in office, so like... Yeah, I, this, so this could be awful, or this could be nothing. I guess he just needs to explain it. Let's put a pin in that and come back later. Speaking of coming, as if ruining Star Wars wasn't bad enough, here it comes, he says, to a post about Marvel Studios' chief promises LGBTQIA superheroes. I, I, wonder what, I wonder what this means. Does he believe the LGBT people ruined Star Wars? It wasn't the shitty writing, of course. It was gay people? Or is he referring to Disney ruining older, beloved property with their woke BS? Also, I, I don't really like the word woke. I'm, I'm using it because that's the word he would most likely use. And that's it. That's all I could find. The only racist was an anti-BLM piece. And the only anti-gay stuff was just some questionable posts. But nothing too incredibly scathing of the gays. 
But like I said, he did make an apology video. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. Star Wars State Hello, friends. Apology. Sorry about the environment, but I kind of had to make this video on the fly. I need your help. I'm being attacked. So first of all, um, the reason I didn't really care for his content is because of this this voice that he puts on. I just I can't. It's 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 fucking grating. All right. Holy cow. Now, uh, fortunately, it's only a handful of small timers right now, but um, they're making videos accusing me of being racist and homophobic. Now, as to, unfortunately, these two words have been just thrown around way too much lately, and they're kind of losing their meaning, you know? You, people are just throwing it at anybody they disagree with. So he starts off with saying that racist and homophobic are being thrown around way too much, which is something I totally agree with. I've been called a Nazi every week on the internet since, like, 2015 and only not before that because I wasn't on the internet as often these words mean nothing anymore I'm a Christian libertarian capitalist Zionist egalitarian queer I couldn't disagree with the tenets of fascism more but that doesn't stop those on the left from throwing that word out every time I say something that's a little close to the no-no zone and um, a lot of you have followed me for a long time and you know you know that I don't have a problem with people I am always as courteous and respectful to people that I disagree with as I can be, and I don't always succeed, but I certainly try. He doesn't have a problem with people. He tries to be courteous with everyone. Again, I don't, I don't see an issue here. This is none of this is a problem. And I've had good conversations with many of you, and um, you should know me by now. The problem is that there are some people who only feel good if they look for villains. Even when there are none to be found, they create them so they can feel good about themselves. That is 100% correct. The mob is always looking for a villain to demify. The mob must eat. It searches like a lion in the field. Wow, am I preaching here? Like a lion in the field, looking for a victim to devour. That's what they do. That's what the mob does. It needs an enemy. Again, back to the whole fascism thing. I'm no expert on fascism, but I believe one of the tenets is always having a bad guy, which is weird when that's what the mob does. Not a fan of the word woke, but I'll use it here. The woke mob must have a villain to kill and to crucify. So again, I, I agree with what he's saying here. I'm, I'm just waiting for the part of the apology video, because I, I saw plenty of people talking about how the apology video was atrocious, and this is seems relatively normal. I'm being accused of being racist and homophobic. Now, this comes from a facebook post from 2018 and in the post i was disgusted by how uh disney was using the homosexual agenda what <laughs> wait wait a minute hang on wait whoa, 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 whoa. we're gonna we're gonna tap the brakes here guys <clears throat> <clears throat> he was disgusted by how disney was using the homosexual agenda Now, set aside the fact that the, the gay agenda is, like, a meme, and nobody uses that language. Like, is, is the guy 64 years? Is this my dad? Is, is this... <laughs> is this fucking Dennis? <laughs> Just now the fucking gay agenda, and next you're gonna have marrying dogs, and... Like, what? Excuse me? The, the homosexual agenda... I... <sighs> Alright, I, I did cut him off. Let's, let's see. Let's let him finish. That's what she said. Post from 2018. And in the post, I was disgusted by how uh, Disney was using the homosexual agenda as a, as a tool to get more viewership. They didn't really, it, to me, it seemed like they didn't really care about the people. They were just using the agenda to get more money. And it disgusted me. Well, so that's actually the context that makes everything he said okay. Because, like, it, that, that just makes sense. That's exactly what Disney does. Disney is an evil corporation. They will they will hint at at being pro LGB. They they're like, oh man, did you see uh, Valkyrie kiss that girl's hand? Oh, did you see those two lesbians kiss in Star Wars? Yeah, we were okay with gay people, but then they're going to strip and scrub those scenes out of certain markets in certain countries with certain cultures. They'll film Mulan on the doorstep of a Wyer prison camp. Like a legitimate concentration camp. And then they will thank the people who are keeping Weigers, Muslims, locked up in the credits of Mulan. That happened. That's in there. You can Google that. That's what Disney does. Alright? Disney will bow 
to anyone with a dollar. Disney is an evil corporation. So Dinks is saying that they will use, well, Al. Al is saying that they will use the gay agenda to make money, and he finds that disgusting. If that's what he said, and if that's what he meant, he is completely justified. That is 100% boink, nail in the coffin. That's not the right phrase. Boink, nail on the head. He is right, okay? That's correct. Also, I should say, fuck Disney. Well, unfortunately, some people are, are um, taking this as something other than what it is. I absolutely love all of you. I love Star Wars. I'm here to talk about Star Wars, and that's all the videos I ever want to do. I hope this is the last serious video that I ever have to make. Now, I have my own personal beliefs, just as you do. I have my own personal way that I live my life, just as you do. So, I'm asking, if you see these videos, please refute them, and if they're inappropriate, go ahead and report them. But these people are starting to dig into my personal life and attack my family. That's just not acceptable no matter what. So. Please, my friends, help me out with this, and I greatly appreciate it. He, he missed a golden opportunity to say, help me, my friends, you're my only hope. That I'm just, just throwing it out there. Star Wars memes, okay, we like it. <laughs> Love those around here. Liar! Anyways, yeah, that, that, that's about it. Uh, that's, that's all the story I have. And, and it makes me wonder, after watching all this, why did he dip out and run? Why did he, why did he bend to the mob? Because you shouldn't. You should never back down. The mob will turn you inside out, regardless of what you do. Running and hiding isn't going to save you any face. You can say many negative things about Donald Trump. I think a positive is that he didn't bend to the mob. He didn't back down. He didn't, he didn't let the mob push him around, alright? The mob will ravage you. If you turn, if you bend, if you show any weakness, they will eat you alive. The only way to fight is to stand up for your beliefs. To stand firm in your beliefs. Now, of course, that's all to say if this is it. But there might be more to come. Maybe there's more posts. Maybe the whole, we knew it was coming, gay marriage opened the doors to the rest. Maybe that's going to come back harder. Because right now, he just seems like a pretty normal Christian conservative Disnoid dude. There's nothing racist, nor explicitly homophobic. But maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to hear your perspective on it. Or posts made by him, if another creator has made a better video. I mean, uh, a, a, a goat can make a better video than mine, but that's... If a creator has a more in-depth look at what he's doing, hey, maybe, I don't know, maybe this guy attends the Steadfast Church. You know, the church where the preacher was talking about rounding up all the gays and shooting them in the back of the head? Yeah, may may maybe this guy has those beliefs. I don't know, but I'd love to find out. Anyways, that that's all for me. Appreciate you sticking around. Bye-bye!